No, you're not bringing home another piece of junk. All right, so first little project, kind of an easy one. I just welded me a little bracket on there. And uh, this dude will go down through there, run a couple screws in it, and uh, that's where I'll mount my map sensor. So I'm going to take this, and while I'm pulling that uh, other AC condenser out of there, I'm just going to wipe it down. I'm going to get some few coats of primer on that, and then uh, maybe tomorrow or next, you know, sometime this week, we'll paint her black. So. All right, so that's that little piece. Let me get a little spray bomb primer out of there and we'll pull this guy apart. All right, so this is gonna do it for today. I got the, uh, got the condenser mounted in there. I was able to use the same brackets I did before. And I got my refrigerant lines on and they're coming out right here. And uh, once we get to hooking that up, we'll just hook right onto those. And I was really hoping to get my line right in the center of the hole but i kind of miscalculated my bend didn't get it there yeah that's all right we'll just uh i'll find a grommet to fit that hole and we'll go ahead and put it in there just to make there's plenty of space around that line but i just want to make sure it doesn't doesn't rub that one got a little closer still not quite that's uh there's a trick to doing that but uh, anyway no this is good i'm happy with this um I started to put these horns back on, but I want to test them and make sure they're good because I can hear my horn relay clicking, but they're not honking. So I don't know if it's those or if that relay is bad. <coughs> I'll do that before I put that back together. Um, okay, so we're good there. So uh, I don't know if I'll come out here tomorrow, but in the next day or so, we'll go ahead and we'll get, let's get this grill cleaned up and get it on. Let's get these headlight do my hickeys, rings, um, cleaned up, polished up, get them on. This one's got some dents in it. You can buy new ones of these, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bang these out, polish them as good as they'll go and use them for now. They're a pretty good dent there. Maybe one of these days we'll put another one on, but let's, we'll get the grill on and we'll get to working on that bumper. Um, also, I was, Looking at this now. So going into the expansion valve, my adapter to go to the uh, O-ring fitting will work on there, but it will not work on the bottom because they've actually got the flare nut on the evaporator tube. So I've got this flare adapter fits that. And now so this is a a bigger flare than what I ordered. Uh, the adapter I ordered was this size. So, I need to find an adapter that goes from that size flare to that size flare, or um, I can take these up to work, stick a piece of copper in the middle of them, and just silver solder them together and make an adapter. It's probably the easiest thing to do. And cut them threads off so it, it's, uh, a little shorter. I don't even know if I need. Yeah, I should probably silver solder it, I guess. But uh, either I'll either make one or find one, and then my adapters will work on there. So, all right, uh, we will pick this back up in the next day or so and uh, work some more on getting this front end together. All right, so I've been working on these headlight rings and uh, got them polished up. Got the dents knocked out of them. Some of the dents knocked out of them. This one's still kind of dinged up. But you know, they cleaned up pretty good. They polished up pretty good. It's not bad enough that I'm willing to spring for a pair of brand new ones. Although they, they, they do make uh, repops of these. But I think for now it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna use those as it is. All right, so now we're gonna take the, uh, I got the grill. And this uh, 
emblem here. And it's kind of got some cracks in the plastic and that. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and use it. And uh, I'm going to put the, put the grill on the buffer wheel and uh, put some compound on it and work it for a while and uh, see how good I can get it. See how good I can get this. And we'll go ahead and get that put together. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for tonight. And then uh, probably tomorrow, today's Tuesday, tomorrow, Thursday, get to work on this bumper. So we got to pull this, pull this whole bumper apart. <clears throat> and I'm really debating. There's a lot of pieces to this thing. And I don't know if I want to take this completely apart and clean it up and paint it. I kind of don't. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's got some surface rust on it, but you're not going to see any of that. Um, man, I just really don't want to mess with that. I think I'm just going to take the center section out of it and change that. I've got this other center piece here that's good that doesn't have those dings in it. <clears throat> and, uh, and call it good. I don't know. I change my mind about every 35 seconds, so who knows? I might end up pulling the whole thing apart, but... Like I said, that's a that is a lot of pulling apart and a lot of cleaning, a lot of wire brushing and a lot of painting. So I don't know if I want to do a, do all that for something I'm not even gonna see and it's you know there's no rust going through it. So um, I don't know. We'll think about it. Anyway, let's get this grill cleaned up and uh, get it on there. See what it looks like. Also, I. Uh, testing my horns that wouldn't work and uh both of them were bad neither one of them will honk they just click so i'm about to go pick up some kind of cheapo aftermarket horn over at uh over at the parts store and put it in there but uh okay so let's work on this and uh let's see what we got after that all right how's that look it cleaned up pretty nice didn't get as shiny as i hoped it would but uh you know, it's uh, it's much better than it was, and I might try to work it some more with a little hand polish, but uh, I think it looks good. You know, if you saw it when it, uh, when it was on there before, before anything was polished and had all the dents and stuff in it, it's uh, it's 100 times better. All right, so, um, I still don't know what to do about this thing, if I'm going to tear it all apart or not. And I know what we got there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen bolts that are all rusty. Oh, and these bolts, 15, 16, 17, 18. Plus a few down there. <laughs> 19, 20, 21, 22. Those four gotta come out because I gotta put those onto there. Uh, Well, I guess we'll start to see how easy it'll come apart and uh, go from there. It's like, man, the whole underside of this thing is clean. I hate to put a rusty bumper bracket on there, but uh, all right. Well, I got to take those bolts, those four bolts, those four bolts, and those four bolts out to be able to change that centerpiece. So... Let's put some goo on there, let it soak for tonight, and then uh, tomorrow when I get out here, I think I'll let them all soak. Tomorrow when I get out here, we'll pull it all apart and uh, see what it looks like. All right, that was a job. <clears throat> some of them bolts came out easy. Well, none of them came out easy. Some of them came out and some of them had to be cut. So and I got this thing completely disassembled. And you can see there's a bend right there, which it's kind of what I decided finally. It's like, okay, I need to straighten that out. So I'm gonna beat that flat. And then this is my better centerpiece. I polished a little corner of it up and you can see that that's, uh, that's much better. And we'll just clean these brackets up. I'm not gonna like do a great paint job on them. I'm just gonna basically wire brush them off 
and I got some uh, got plenty of port 15 left I think I'm just gonna paint the back of it with that <clears throat> and I'm gonna go buy all new bolts and uh, not mess with these things and this centerpiece was it was dinged up pretty good so I think this dude is going right there all right so let's uh i'm gonna clean this mess up there's a couple little brackets on the side of this still i'm not taking those off <clears throat> that's those they're really rusty i'm gonna paint over them but that's those chrome headed bumper bolts and like if you mess those up that, i don't have any more i was lucky enough to get the four out that i did so I'm just going to wire brush those as best as I can and paint them and leave them. I think they'll be okay. There's a, two side braces in this. That one and this one. Pretty much rusted away to nothing. So I don't know if I'm going to make another one of those or just not put them on there. I'll have to figure that out. But probably take a several hours to get this all cleaned up get it painted reassembled back on the car that'll kind of be the job for this weekend or a good part of this weekend i think but uh okay so let's clean this mess up and then uh i'm going to pick up some new bolts on the way home tomorrow night and uh I'll tell you what i'm going to pull that new front seat for this thing out of the van Let's take a look at that before we wrap up here tonight. All right, so that's a good looking seat. And uh, that thing is going to go nice in there. Doesn't need any cover work or anything. This is a. I was quite the find. And for 125 bucks, believe it or not, which I think is uh, one heck of a deal. Just happened to catch the right guy that was. Uh, uh, doing a garage liquidation and had to move stuff fast so okay so that is uh that's gonna be it for tonight like i said we'll pick up uh bolts and stuff tomorrow uh on the way home from work i don't know if i'll get out here tomorrow night or not i got some stuff going on but uh if not then friday we'll get to uh putting this thing back together i also got my air cleaner painted over there and uh, painted it up, looked real good. Then I got over here to the polishing wheel, started polishing some chrome, looked back, and I had fuzz all, all stuck in my paint. So it's like, man. So I guess we'll uh, scuff that off and shoot it again. But hey, that stuff happens. Okay, that's it for tonight. We'll uh, pick her back up in a day or so. All right, hey, all happy Friday. So I'm uh, uh, didn't do much out here yesterday. I um, and I got home from work today and took me a little nap before I came out here. So uh, I'm, I'm ready to roll. So anyway, yesterday I made a little trip after work and I went and got uh, all new bumper bolts and also went and this is for the van instead of the car, but got some new steel some uh, two by three um, and that is going to make the bed rails and um, then we're going to have to run a rail across here for the back of the cab when we do that um, be putting some supports in here we're going to have to use some up here so that should be more than enough to finish what i got to do on here structure wise i'm going to pick this thing up it's like some kind of shelf thing he had laying there he's like you can have that if you want it it's like well it's pretty stout i'll take it i'll make something out of it so uh tonight what we're gonna do is i am going to clean up these parts get a little paint on them i'm not gonna get real crazy about cleaning them up but i just want to knock the loose rust off of them and just Get a little a bit, a little bit of paint on them so they don't continue to rust. We got to straighten that thing out, and then uh, let it all dry. And uh, tomorrow, 
we'll uh, put this thing back together and put it back together with all new bolts, which would be nice. And then we'll uh, we'll get it put on the car. So that's the plan. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, let's, let's take this and see if we can knock that dent out of it. I don't know if that thing is bowed there. Can't really tell. I think, I, I, oops, I think it's just that shape and just that lip is bent up. Because the bumper was straight and it didn't like bowing when I took it apart, you know. So, uh, all right, let's get that straightened out. And uh, we'll get some stuff cleaned up and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, got all that stuff cleaned up. Got a little paint on it. Nothing fancy. Hit it with the uh, hit it with the old widow maker and uh, a little rust oleum on some of it. Some of it that was pitted pretty bad on the inside. I got uh, had a little 415 left. To use that. I'm not going to use these braces. This one is rusted all the way through, and it's just like an extra side brace. So I may end up making something. Let's get the whole thing on there and see what it looks like. Okay, but so we're going to let this sit and dry overnight. And then uh, tomorrow I'll be back out. And we'll put this thing back together, put all new bolts on it, and uh, get it on the car and uh, see what we got. Okay, so it's uh, Saturday and all this stuff is dry. So I guess we're ready to put this bumper together. <clears throat> and... Uh, and I did not want to tear this thing apart. I was moaning about it, but you know what? It's it's uh, it's best that I did. It's going to look better, and I'm going to feel better about it. Uh, it's apart and got new bolts in it, and I straightened that dent out and all that. So went uh, this morning to my granddaughter's first basketball game. You want to see something entertaining? Watch a bunch of four-year-olds playing basketball. So if uh, that don't make you smile, nothing will. Alrighty, so let me uh, let me get all these pieces where they need to go, and uh, we'll throw this thing together. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll figure out how to get her on here. All right, all right, here we go, and that looks so much better. And uh, word of advice: when you put something together with that many bolts and that many pieces. Put all the bolts in loose, then go around and tighten them up. It's the only way to get the holes to all line up. Ask me how I know. But uh, I'm gonna have to do some polishing on this bumper. You see that? Um, not beat up or dented, but uh, definitely dirty. I use my polishing wheel right here. But I saw a few videos of guys doing it with uh, ultra fine stainless steel, stainless steel, ultra fine steel wool, and a little bit of water. So I'm gonna try it with that once we get it up on there. And uh, I'll tell you what, it, it sure works good on some other people's YouTube channel. So I'm gonna give it a shot. All right. So now I need to find the big bolts that hold this bumper on. And uh, uh, they're in one of uh, 10 boxes of parts. And uh, I don't think they're in the trunk. I checked the trunk. There are no classified documents in the trunk, just in case anybody was worried. So a uh, little joke there. All right, let me, find my, uh, let me find my big bolts here. We'll get this thing up on there. And uh, this is another thing. It's, it's a booger to line up because you got these bolts here. And then these tabs on the side go up under there and that this flange. So there's three holes under there where they line up with three holes that go uh, on these things. Those three holes. So there's like a lot of lining stuff up and all that to get it right to get it to work. So but uh let me find my stuff we'll get it up on there and we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like all right so we got her on there and uh found the bolts obviously so it's a little higher on that side than it is on this side it's just 
you know, just not a perfect bumper, but it is what it is. And uh, I think it's fine. But once it's polished up, it's gonna look good. So I uh, just got the bolts in there loose. I'm gonna find the bolts. We're gonna get these uh, uh, Valance panels on there. And then I got the, uh, this is an aluminum license plate panel. It's gotta go on there. It's it's pretty banged up. We're gonna see if we can straighten it out a little bit and get it up under there. So, let me uh, see what I can do about that. And uh, get this all buttoned up and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna polish this thing now or not. I'm kinda just working on just getting it together right now. So uh, I think we'll just uh, I think we'll just go ahead and get it together for now. All right, let me uh, get those panels, see what I need for bolts, and uh, we'll keep on rolling. All right, so I found some of my bolts. I got to find a few more, but I was just looking at something here on this bumper. I wanted to try it. I wanted to show you something. So like, there's where I hit with my polishing wheel. Here's what it looks like there. This is ultra fine steel wool. I think it was a buck from the dollar store. That is hardly pushing at all. That looks pretty darn good. Clean that up, put some uh, put a little wax on it, and uh, I think that'll look good. Here's a, here's a rusty spot here. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, man, whose ugly face is that in there? You know, not completely restored and re-chrome, but a lot better than what it was, so. All right, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let me uh, dig up the rest of my bolts here, and we'll get these guys on. All right, <clears throat> got her all together. You see them pans under there, they look pretty good. And uh, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of bolts. Hold that front end together. <laughs> a whole lot of bolts. So uh, we got that done. Got my little air cleaner done. You know, it's kind of stock looking, but I got a bunch of holes drilled in the bottom so it'll breathe better. And I made me a little map sensor bracket there. I think that. It looks pretty good and kind of stock looking, but I think it's cool looking, you know. And, uh, okay, so that is all I'm going to do for today. I don't know if I'm going to get back out here tomorrow or not. My uh, One of my boys needs his car worked on, so if he shows up to do that, then I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. But Monday's a holiday. I am definitely going to be out here all day and continue working on this, and I want to get this guy mounted. So... We'll do a test on this thing. This thing looks like it might have some, yeah, I don't know, the wiring looks all right. We'll make sure that fan motor runs okay, doesn't make any noise, clean it up a little bit. We'll make some brackets for it. We'll get that mounted under the dash. And then uh, there's a whole bunch of little stuff I need to do from front to back. I mean, I need to get the, I got a, a deck hinge I gotta change. I gotta bleed the back brakes. Um, I need to hook the, uh emergency brake cable up um just it's kind of little stuff like that but uh monday i think we're gonna get that thing mounted i might start getting some of this chrome cleaned up and put on um now that we're past the beginning of the year you know i uh got a little bit of a little bit of money put aside that i can start uh piecing this thing together and i, I want this thing definitely on the road uh, for this cruise season. So I'm thinking like in the March, beginning in April, probably won't have a complete interior, but you know, it'll have a seat and carpet and probably some door panels and it'll have glass. So, uh, all right, well, that's it for right now. Um, so I will pick this up either tomorrow or Monday.
All right, so the goal of this uh, air conditioner was to mount this thing today, which I went ahead and tested the motor and it wouldn't turn. Um, so uh, what I did is I pulled the little motor apart and uh, cleaned up the stator where the brushes go. And we're gonna oil these little felts up in there. Um, and we're gonna see if we can get this thing to turn. So uh, hopefully that'll work. Usually these little 12 volt motors are pretty robust units and a little oil and uh, clean that stuff up, you can bring them back to life. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Also, it's a good thing we took it apart because we need to clean that coil. <laughs> All right, no good. This thing just is not gonna run. So I'm gonna try to find another motor for this. Also, I noticed I put this long bolt through this bracket. And that's not good. So I don't see a hole in it, but we're gonna go ahead and clean that up and put some solder over it anyway, because it uh, I'm sure that definitely weakened it. Okay, so looks like air conditioning is not happening on this video, so, but uh, hey, that's the way it goes. We just gotta find that little motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on some of this uh, chrome and we're gonna get some of that up on there. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I got on uh, eBay last night and I was able to find a motor that'll match this uh, for a pretty good price. It's like 30 bucks or something. It's not too bad. So not gonna get the air conditioner in there today. I gotta get that ordered. And like I said, I'm gonna, I don't think there was a hole in that thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off and just <clears throat> put some solder over that thing just to make sure. Uh, but what I've been doing is I got these uh, chrome pieces out. Now these go on the, they go on this inside edge here and then that's what your upper gasket for the top of the window um, window frame goes into so i'm going to go ahead and get those cleaned up or i got them cleaned up i'm going to go ahead and they had some uh, seam sealer on the back of them we're going to re-seam seal it find all the bolts and we're going to get those on there today <clears throat> and uh what else are we going to do on this thing I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Oh, also, my son was working on his car out there yesterday and using my tools. So as a thank you for letting me use the shop, he polished that bumper up for me. And I think that looks pretty darn good. Took the, uh, took the old, uh, what do you call it? Steel wool to it. And, uh, and it looks good. Put a coat of, uh, Put a little polish polish on that thing and it'll, it'll come out nice he's gonna do the back bumper for me too he says so. all right let me get these uh chrome pieces on and uh we'll take a look so this is what this chrome strip looks like once you get it on here it kind of hugs this channel goes all the way down through here now this <clears throat> going uh way way back to early videos where i was kind of figuring the windows out somebody was saying oh well, the top of the glass is too short it's not hitting the how you gonna fix that and i didn't have this channel on there at that time so this channel goes here your gasket goes in there it hangs down a fair amount and then the top edge of your hard top window that stainless steel edge goes up into that gasket so um pretty easy setup uh like i said i cleaned all these off i got this one in i'm gonna screw the other side in and then I think that is going to be it for this video. Um, I got some more parts coming. Uh, I want to get that AC in there before I go too much further. So I want to get that, wait till that little motor gets here. We'll put that thing back together. And we'll put that, uh, get that air conditioner mounted under the dash. And, uh, you know, so, but the pile of chrome is getting smaller. So that's good and uh under here i've got window pieces so before too long we're gonna start uh making windows and i was gonna get glass cut but uh my brother-in-law turned me on to something called optic armor 
That is a uh, like a uh, super Lexan that uh, a lot of race guys are using now. So I think I'm gonna I price that out and I'm gonna get a, a sheet of that and make my windows out of that. Um, Cause I'll tell you what, getting, I went through this before getting flat glass cut and then getting it tempered is a, a lot of money. And if it's, uh, if you come up wrong, then uh, it's a lot of money down the drain. I did a 48 Plymouth, had the same problem, ended up making those windows out of Lexan and throwing away um, two really nice pieces of tempered glass that were cut wrong. So, or that I measured wrong, were not cut wrong. Okay, so uh, let's go inside, get a word from the Lord. I, um, yeah, let's go inside, get a word from the Lord, and we'll call it on this video. Hey, I hope you all uh, enjoyed that video. We're finally getting some uh, some more stuff done on the on the 61. It's, uh, I think it's looking pretty good, and uh, uh, got some more parts coming, so we're moving right along. So got some new glasses. Hope you like them. I like them, something different, but whew, I need a haircut, something awful got some bush going on <laughs> anyway so um message for today so uh first of all i would like to ask for prayer for for a good friend of mine jerry um won't give his last name let's just say jerry p i mean he's a uh a, a very sweet man he's uh getting ready to celebrate a birthday this weekend i think uh 80 81 years old something like that had a uh, you know, been around a long time and a good guy and a, a wise, you know, very wise man and uh, someone I I respect and love very much. But, uh, you know, Jerry has, has not been doing too well with his, uh, with his health and uh, he's a regular watcher on the channel. And so, Jerry, if you're watching, I just want you to know I love you, brother, and uh, and we're, we're praying for you. And I just like everybody out there uh, on the channel, pray for Jerry for uh, for peace and for comfort. And uh, just that he has a great birthday this weekend. You know, it's uh, it's that's a big milestone. So, um, was praying about what to do for a message today, and I just, you know, I landed on salvation. I just think we need to talk about salvation today, and and uh, you know what we need to do to 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 be right with the Lord and to be accepted into His presence. So I, I kind of pulled up a. I'm not real good at going off the cuff all the time, so I'm, uh, I pulled uh, a few things up, and we're just going to talk about it real quick. So, so God's purpose for us is is peace and life, and to be with Him. And uh, the Bible says uh, in Romans five one, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the the verse I'm sure everybody knows, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. <clears throat> and that is awesome. You know, we don't have to do anything or, you know, we don't have to know the secret handshake or nothing like that. It's, we just need to accept God's gift and, uh, and, and accept him into our hearts. And, um, and, and that's our key to salvation. If you, you know, one passage I talk about a lot, my mom used to talk about is the thief on the cross, you know, that, uh, by all accounts, we're we're pretty sure that uh, that that guy led not so great a life. Even um, even near the end of his life, he told uh, the other criminal on the cross. He said, "You and I are getting what we deserve." So we can uh, we can gather from that that uh, that you know that that he hadn't done such great things in his life. But just by accepting Christ at that last minute, he was welcomed into the kingdom, and I think that's pretty awesome. So. What keeps us from having life that God planned for us? And it's our separation from God, our sin. Um, you know, original sin from from Adam and just our that, that sin is on our soul. And it, um, because of that, God is so holy that uh, we can't uh, come to him and be with him unless we acknowledge that sin and acknowledge that you know, Christ's blood washed that sin away and that uh, he he sacrificed his life for us and that just just accept the gift. He's handing you this beautiful wrapped present and all you got to do is say, yes, I'll take it. You know, that's it. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So we don't want to compare each other to, and compare ourselves to each other. Well, uh, he's more of a sinner than I am, or she's more of a sinner than I am, or I can't come to God because 
I'm too bit much of a sinner. Uh, that's not the way it is. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Proverbs 14.12, There is a way that appears to be right to man, but in the end it leads to death. So no bridge, nothing we can do will give us that relationship with God, except one thing, the cross, because Jesus went to the cross to die for each of us. He shed his blood for our sin. He paid the price. The debt is canceled. But all we got to do is accept it. <clears throat> First Timothy 2.5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Jesus Christ. First Peter 3.18 says, For Christ also suffered once for our sin, the righteousness for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. So then how do we respond? We receive Christ. That's, that's how we do it. We accept the gift. Uh, we, we need to trust and receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. John 1, 12 says, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. And it doesn't matter how old you are. Maybe you've lived a long, long life of not being in a relationship with Christ. As if there's breath in your body, there is time to accept him. So here's how you accept Christ into your life. You admit that you're a sinner. And you be willing to turn from your sins. You believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and rose from the grave. And belief is a choice. You can go out there in the, in the world of man and you can say, I, I can't believe it until there's proof. But... Um, you're going to find one person saying one thing, one person saying another. It's, it's, it's a matter of faith. You can choose to believe. I chose to believe. So I'm going to ask you this. If you have not accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and you want that gift of salvation, I'm going to ask you to pray this prayer with me today. So just repeat this after me. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that Christ is your son. I believe that he died for my sin and that you raised him to life. I want to trust him as my Savior and follow him as my Lord from this day forward. Guide my life and help me to do your will. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you prayed that prayer and if you really meant it, Christ will accept you and the gift that he gave of washing all your sin, you will be completely clean. And this is the beginning of that relationship. So um, if you did that, right on. Um, that That's really all there is to it to begin. That's the beginning of the relationship. Now you need to spend time in God's word. You need to spend time in prayer. And you need to spend time with God's people. And the transformation doesn't immediately take place overnight as far as the things you do in your life. But find a church. Um, and uh, like I said, just stay in prayer with the Lord. Stay, uh, stay in his word. Reach out to other Christians. Um, if you prayed that prayer and you got no one to reach out to, put it down in the comments. Send me a message. <clears throat> and um, and I would be happy to talk to you. Um, and I'll, I'll shoot you my email. So, uh, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, you all have a blessed day, and we will catch you on the next video.